On this episode of the Jiko Kaisen podcast, we have the one and only G Wayne, the self improvement phenom teaching young people how to better their lives and improve their minds. Today, we're going to discuss the importance of focus, having a sense of purpose, and how to overcome distractions on the road to fulfilling that purpose. We evolve together. Enjoy. How did you realize that you needed a sense of purpose in your life? You know, when did that occur to you? When I started feeling the lack of lonely, like I was being real, I was real lonely when I found out I was becoming purposeful because like all this started with a girl, ironically, like as always starts. And it was just me thinking like, she is with everybody else but me, and I'm by myself. So what is this telling me? What should I do? How can I get better? And that's what the first thought was. Hmm, maybe I should just start working out and making sure I'm good, making sure my mental health is straight. So in the midst of that, I was like, damn, excuse me for cussing. I was like, dang, I like this. I feel joy in this. I should keep doing this. It has to be more and more and more, right? Then I realized, like, muscles ain't really getting it all. It's just getting women. What else can I do? What else can I do? Start pursuing more YouTube and YouTube channels. Learning, imagining I can be a YouTuber. If everybody just talking in the camera, I can do the same thing. I know a little things. My dad's smart. He taught me a lot of things. So why can I just spit a little knowledge of my twist, you know? So mm. in that midst of the manner, I'm like, the first video that went viral on my YouTube channel, I think what it means to be strong had 2K views. That's when that I realized, was like, video. I was like, I can really do this. I can really help people because apparently what I said meant a lot to somebody and I thought it was trash. So I'm like, okay, I'm motivational. I look good and be motivational. So I can send people workout videos. I can help people learn how to do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? As a person, as a young man, because... A lack of purpose, a lack of purpose as a young man, you're not going to get anywhere in life but in the gutter, you know. And then mm. when you're in the gutter, you're not going to get anything done in life, and you'll be sitting back regretting everything you could have done instead of just wasting time. When I started off, when I first realized, I was like, I'm wasting time. I'm 18 years old, out of high school, drinking and smoking with friends that's doing the same thing I'm doing, not having no type of knowledge of pursuit. What the fuck, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. It's it's like it just feels like. Like the clock, the clock is ticking every second, right? And you're not growing, bro. Like each second, someone, each second that passes, we get closer to dying, right? right? And each second that passes, but though us pursuing our potential, we get closer to wasting it. And then eventually, like you were saying, yeah, like someone can just look back and regret and be like, wow, I could have been so sick, bro. I could have been so great. And, you know, I was just screwing around the whole time right. because I wasn't focused, right? Someone didn't introspect. No, I feel you. <clears throat> My fault. I was coughing. No, of course, bro. Go ahead. So, um, a lot of my, I, I realized a lot of my videos was me being hurt to the fact that I wasn't somebody greater back then. Like back in the 2020 era, I'm thinking about how, what I was doing. I wasn't as great as I wanted to be. So I was like, that was like kind of my motivation in the videos. Like, why y'all doing this? Y'all should be doing this. And whole time, I don't even look good. You know what I'm saying? I was just, Think of myself in that manner of I'm great, right? Mm. But it was just like some type of motivation to get me where I am today, which I'm in a great spot right now, you know. And it could have been better if I just locked in earlier. But everybody have a time and a place to learn. But it's that time you gotta realize you gotta wake up at some time, but it can't be late. It can't be late. Mm. If it's late, you're cooked. Sorry. Yeah, bro. I mean, that's that's the thing, like. It's, it's better late than never, but it's better early than late, you know, right. far better earlier than late. So, right. yeah, and that's, that's the thing, man. Like, sometimes it's like people, like, they do realize that they need to change late, right? Like, sometimes, uh, like, you know, uh, like, even when I played video games, like, there were probably people in their late 20s, you know, who were on that game all the time. And I imagine 
you know, based on how they were acting, like they were getting frustrated, like I was, they might have not been doing a lot, you know, and so therefore, or they might have been doing a lot, but nothing really meaningful, nothing really fulfilling. And so then they might have became jaded and feel like that it's too late to change. And that's also a destructive mentality in the sense that it's like someone needs to change at some point, you know, and if it's late, then cool. But I mean, the earlier, obviously, the better because it's like a video game. Then you just rack up, rack up the XP. Right, you know, and right. It's like you can achieve more. You can be more, become more. And to top off what you said about the video games, I ain't gonna lie. Like, a, like an hour before I was playing 2K. But yeah, thing, bro. No, I saw you in Discord. But the, <laughs> but the thing is, yeah. I always tell people that like so good at a game because I suck at 2K. I suck. Mm -hmm. I be losing by like five and ten points, you know. But the thing uh, is, when I, when I tell people, bro, it's like you good at a game, bro. Please just stream it. Please stream it. Because when you have a purpose of playing the game, you can be somebody, bro. It's a lot of people that's somebody for playing the game, and that lack of. Oh, what if I'm not good enough? What if I get banned? What if I, all that doubt? That just really irks me. I'm like, bro, just play. Like, play and be mm. you because you you already playing the game. Mm. Why can't you just monetize it? Like, or start to monetize it because it's hard to build a game in channel. It is. I am going to lie. Mm. But at the end of the day, if you just put in the reps, put in the hours, you can get famous quick. It's a lot of ways to get famous. Look at yeah. TikTok. TikTok, you will blow up in three days. You can, you can boost the post with your own money and get tons of views and people might like it and then you start getting the followers and follow it's so easy then you can boost it. posts with your own money yes yeah i do it on instagram i do it on tiktok and they starting to do it on youtube but some reason i don't trust youtube for some odd reason because mm. like the ads and stuff i just i just don't i don't trust it and it's in a beta state i just don't trust it if i do it i might just lose something so i want to do that the authentic way but like tiktok and instagram like reels Get your get yourself seen because every it takes money to make money. If you want to make money doing reels and stuff like that, and at the end of, at the end you're gonna end up getting a lots and lots of views. You pay money to make more money, like it's simple, you know. Mm. Like it's yeah. easier said than done. Because a lot of people just cuckoo. I don't know why cuckoo. <laughs> yeah, and it, you know to add on to what you were saying about people being hesitant to start something, right? It's like what you were doing with Instagram reels and TikTok, that's an investment. But someone, if they're going into it with the mentality that they're going to fail anyway, then they would be hesitant. They would be apprehensive to make that investment, which could actually, the investment could help them, but they don't want to do it because they're going into it thinking, oh, am I going to succeed or not? You know, it's like, if someone doesn't try, they're not going to get anything anyway, right? right. Right. So the thing is with trying, yeah, I mean, someone might feel like they've wasted their time, but I mean, that's like an experience, right? And someone's gained confidence from knowing that they actually tried something, you know, right. and they gain a sense of purpose from that. You know, they gain like a goal to work towards, like a vision, because if they don't have that, then they just like wander around, mm -hmm. you know, it's like you were saying, like with video games, um, if someone just playing it anyway, bro, people do it anyway. Yeah, you're right. Why not stream it? You know, like someone can easily make money on Twitch. Like some people just have like like a gifted sub or something. Like that's easy. I I, I don't know how much it is. Five dollars or something? American? Yeah, I think it's like five dollars. Yeah, like five dollars to be a gifted sub, something like that. I don't like, really know. Like, you know, I don't. I don't do that like that. Mm. But yeah, it's just at the end of the day, life is experience. If you just sit back and just let life kick your ass and you be depressed and don't like what you're doing. You're getting mad all the time. Sometimes you might end up getting mad and then going viral. Like it can be anything. Like life is just an experience and people don't have that perspective be like to say like, yeah, this is an experience. Let me just do it. What I want to do. Like you can do whatever you want and they just let doubt kill that. Literally. Mm. You know? Right. If it wasn't for the thought of me wanting to do gaming YouTube when I was like 10, 12, I wouldn't even have a YouTube channel in the first place. That like that time I was thinking about like like cause that's when H2O Delirious and Van Oz Gaming, you ever heard of them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Yeah. I used to watch them when I was very young. I'm like, damn, I want to do that. I'm gonna be just like that. I want to play the game because they're funny. If I can do that, they can do it too. So as I kept progressing, I'm like, damn, I can't, I can't set my shit up. <laughs> I can't set my phone up and try to record Black Ops 2. So I was like, damn, I kind of gave up on that. But if it wasn't for that mm. thought of me having, like, I want to be a YouTuber, a gaming YouTuber, I wouldn't have 
the channel I have right now. Ah, uh, which is dedicated to like self improvement. Which yes. some people would even argue, although like people can play video games on self improvement, is like an opposite topic. Mm. So it all comes together in the end. Yeah, yeah like, everything is right. energy. Everything is energy. If I didn't have that thought, that thought wouldn't exist. Literally. So mm. if it's just it's just that leap of faith or that thought or that idea, that dream that can you can make happen if you just keep thinking, keep putting in the effort, keep putting in, just showing up every time you have an idea or a thought. It's, it's so simple. Mm. It's simple, but it's easier said than done because a lot of people can't comprehend, like, like I said, like a fear, doubt, all the, all the other things. It just, you know, it's crazy. I do know what you're saying, man. I think like, I don't know, whenever someone's trying something new, right? Like they know they're going to be going outside of their comfort zone. They know um, it's a new challenge, right? And that's humiliating to them because they're, because they're outside of their comfort zone, they're basically a white belt, they're a novice, you know, and people around them can see that. And somehow they feel as if like the the social status, you know, whatever that means that they have is going to just go away because they're going to get so embarrassed. But the thing is, preserving that so called like social status by not trying comes at the cost of someone's pride, you know, like mm -hmm. someone, if they don't try to do something, then they're never gonna know. And right. that's quite obvious. But the thing is, like, sometimes, like, it'll never feel like the right time. That's what I realized, right? Like, it will never just, you know, like a fairy won't come in your dreams and say, hey, you know, you should start this new business, bro. You should start a YouTube channel. You should do this or do that. Because, I mean, the right time is as early as possible, bro. So, like, now, basically, you know? Exactly people don't people don't tend to understand like like you said earlier like the time like the clock is ticking like we don't got that much time here we just like a it's like a little lifespan it's like this pencil you know so you keep sharpening it you're gonna potentially be here <laughs> so might as well just keep edging off that you know keep writing on that that pencil wow this is a great analogy i just got right now hold on oh, okay <laughs> so if oh, you keep up, cook up. If, this is i say this is our pencil right mm-hmm and we just keep sharpening it, right? It's mm -hmm. keep dwindling and dwindling away. But you steadily not writing anything on a paper to let you know you was there, right? So you just steadily sharpen and not writing nothing down. You won't just be nothing at the end of the day. You gotta write something down with yourself. You gotta plant your seeds. You gotta plant your, your knowledge somewhere. Plant mm -hmm. your whatever you want to be somewhere. Somewhere you're gonna have to be out there. You just can't keep sharpening your pencil. At the end of the day, it's gonna break. It's gonna be you can't sharpen it no more. You'll be cooked. Ah, so sharpening the pencil is basically like making efforts towards your goals in life and you are the pencil. And eventually the more like sharpen, 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 the, the more, more you, that the more time progresses, yep. the more it's going to be sharpened, mm -hmm. you know? So therefore it's like someone might as well use like the sharpenings, I guess you can say, use their time mm -hmm. as a means to achieve something. Ah, yeah, that is a good analogy, bro. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the time the same way, but like. The, say the sharpening is like you just thinking about everything. I could, I can do this, or the doubt. It can be anything. You just thinking, thinking, thinking. Your life just dwindling. Oh, I finally got a sharp tip. Let me just try. But you all broke. You can barely write. Like you, you stuck right here. You can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Oh, so, you might as well just start right now. You know. And and like we were saying earlier, that's kind of the unfortunate thing. Like I mean, like I I have a pencil too. You know, like it'll keep like sharp sharpening, 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 but. At the same time, or because of that, you know, because time will keep passing, like eventually it will reach a point that, I mean, too late, like it's not too late to start, but it might be too late to actually make something significant, mm. right? And that's why it's like, I don't know, some people, and I mean, it, it's kind when they say this, like I appreciate them saying this, but they always say, oh yeah, someone's like young, bro. Someone's like 18, 19, 20, you know, like they can mess around and they can, right? Because they, you know, can get on track later on. But I mean, from what I know, and just logically speaking, the earlier someone starts, you know, like the further they'll go, mm. right? The more that they'll know, the more wise they can become because it's like, I mean, wisdom only comes with experience. So if you can get that experience as early as possible, then why not? Right. You know? And that goes with the same thing, or any like anything, bro. Like if you want to start anything, you just gotta know that you are gonna fail, bro. Like, like when we first started our channels, when we getting, when we getting like over fifty views, 
No, he was getting like 20, 20, 30, 20 again, 20 again. And eventually we start hitting the 100. And like, okay, cool. This cool. Then we can yeah. keep going, getting a the 100. Then we back at 50. Like, what? What the fuck? And we just, <laughs> and we'll keep on going. Like, oh, I can get a 100 again for sure. Then just make this video a little bit better. You know, just you always got to have that mindset. Like, I am going to fail at something. And I learned this late. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I was like, it was this one business opportunity I had. It was like a sales job, right? And I'm like, yeah, the money sound good. Yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. If I, all I got to do is learn how to talk to people, okay, cool. Blah, blah, they split. As soon as that day came, that day without a stop, I'm like, oh, I don't like, it's in my stomach. Like, I don't know if it was like fear or something telling me it was like the bad choice, but either way, I didn't start it. And I didn't take that steep, that leap. And I felt like the leap was too big. I might be coping, but at the end of the day, this is the moral of the story. I was scared. Like I was scared to jump in that that like that type of frame. So I didn't take that chance. I might have listed out on a lot of money, but if I would have did that, I probably wouldn't even have none of this stuff. We probably wouldn't be talking right now about this situation, about this whole podcast. You never know. This podcast might blow up tomorrow. Like it's all about knowing you're gonna fail, bro. And if you know you're gonna fail at something, bro, that you really like that you know you're gonna have you know you're gonna fail at something you like to do, that's when you know you're gonna win, bro. Cause you'll keep showing up every single time. Exactly, bro. Every single time. <laughs> Every single time. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. No, I and now I get I get what you're saying, man. And it's like like even with something like a podcast, you know, like it'll like for me, like it felt like I was going too fast into it, you know. And sometimes it feels like someone's rushing, even when they're yeah. going at a snail's pace, and mm. they feel like they're rushing because that's you know, their brain's telling them to stop. But it's like again, that's about them going outside of their comfort zone because if someone fails that's like humiliating right they feel like they haven't gained anything but in reality they gain something from the experience the experience you gain something in itself mm -hmm. you gain the confidence from trying it in the first place mm -hmm. and if you gain like any amount of success you know like even if it's just like one person that looked at your video you know that left a comment bro like that's sick man that's you know, like, and that only happened because someone took action took action right so when you say like that one person can make you push and keep going. Like, damn, he left a comment. Like I said earlier, like, damn, like, I can really do this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, even though I got 25 views, somebody left a comment saying I said something good. You know, that right there, knowing that you started and you started to see progress, that's progress. Like, 1% better every day. And I want to keep in mind this. Always, bro, when you starting, like, when you doing something, bro, you got to make sure you really love it, bro. Because if you're just doing it because you know it can make money, bro, you're going to end up, like, stressing yourself out. Like, bro, I'm not getting enough views. I'm not getting enough views. And you mm -hmm. just start throwing stuff out, throwing stuff out, throwing stuff out. And you're like, dang, bro, why I ain't getting the love I was getting earlier, bro? Because you're looking at the outcome of it. You're not looking at the, the journey because the journey good. If you like what you're doing, you're going to put more love into it, more passion, more more quality to it. And when you have more quality, that's when more love going to come out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. Like, boom. I was just making a video on some cool junk. Why did I get two cut two K views? Like I wasn't even expecting that. I was just, I was just cooking. I was just cooking with love. So you gotta make sure you love it, bro. Cause some people don't love what they doing, bro. And they just be, they be mentally messed up in the head. And they be like, no, I don't like my job. I don't like this, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So make sure when you want to do something, make sure you really love it, bro. Make sure you know mm. what you're talking about, bro. Really. I do know what you're saying, man. I think like, <clears throat> If, if someone looks at the outcome too much, they do mm -hmm. the bare minimum, mm -hmm. right? And that, how can that produce a good result, right? If someone's just doing the bare minimum, how are they going to get anything that, if someone's doing the bare minimum action, how are they going to get above a bare minimum result, right? Bare minimum action, bare minimum result, right? right. If someone at least does like the maximum or close to the maximum, then maybe they don't get the maximum result, but there's the potential of that, you know? And I think like things like we were talking about earlier, like TikToks, you know, people can get viral on TikToks, you know, because they do the bare minimum efforts. But in that case, the videos have like a certain quality, you know, that people that may have been unintentional, but that people like, right? Like, mm -hmm. let's say, like if someone's naturally attractive, you know, or if a video is so stupid that people just can't, <laughs> like look away from it you know it's right. like looking at a train crash right. like it's so bad it's like you want to just like look at it bro and wow, wow. yeah man
I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, bro. I mean, are you going to be more compelled to look mm -hmm. at a car driving well, you know, driving straight, and you know they're not going to crash, or a train about to crash? You're like, bro, I can't. Like, this is so bad. But it's like you keep looking at it, bro. I can't look. <laughs> I can't look at the train. <laughs> Have your one eye open. It's crazy. Wow. Dang, that's what I think. Um. Why I think, you know, so many guys uh, online, bro, like doing like the TikTok fitness influences, you know, like people talking about, I, I mean, I don't use the app, but like the 30 day trend challenge or something like, I don't, I didn't even know that even what? existed until two, two seconds ago, the 30 day trend <laughs> challenge. Like, like what is that, bro? <laughs> yeah, man. But I mean, it, that's, that's the thing, bro. Like it's like people. It, it, it's so it's actually like kind of sickening to think about but it makes a lot of sense like people enjoy seeing other people ruin their lives right let's say that one more time people enjoy seeing other people ruin their lives because it makes them feel better about their own lives and that's why yeah. sometimes Ooh. when someone's improving themselves it creates the opposite effect if someone's really down bad you know it can create envy although not uh, everyone's like that, but some people may be like that. You know, the people who you talked to previously, you become distant from mm. and you meet new people. It made people feel like they're the same. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I'm shitty. I hope he's shitty too. Oh, yeah. He is shitty. Okay. I can still be <laughs> shitty. Like, that's what they mean, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Damn. People are messed up in the hell. I don't, I don't know why. That's, that's kind of, that's kind of sad. <laughs> bro, you know what, man? Like, it's, you know, it's all in protection of like the ego, right? Like believing, um, well, I guess like, like who I think, who we think we are, right? Like if someone thinks they're here, but they're exposed to actually be like here, mm -hmm. then what's going to happen, bro, right? Like they, they're going to come up with some excuse to boop, 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 creep back up. Mm. And that is why, you know, someone, it's like David Goggins said, man, you'll never see a hater doing better than you. Because people are trying to hate to, you know, bring people down to their level. But that's the thing, man. I mean, someone, like, if they're really secure within themselves, I mean, they're not going to care, right. you know, because, um, yeah, man, hurt people hurt people. I heard that term. My sister has determined that term a couple months ago. It's like, I don't think I don't get, like, why do you want to stay hurt? Like, does it, you have pleasure in feeling hurt all the time? You don't have no pleasure. Like, no, for real. Like, you don't have no pleasure of, like, actually giving back or trying at least to help somebody and make yourself feel good. Not to be, like, a people pleaser, but, like, actually just give back because you just genuinely like to help or be better. Like, I don't know why people want to be in that. Man, fuck these. I mean, forget these people. I want these people to feel the same way I'm feeling. And it's weird, bro. Like, why can't you just sit back and just – Say, like, why am I doing this? Like, what am I gaining out of this? I don't mm. I don't get why people can do that. Like, they don't have the intellectual, the intellectual thinking to ask a self-question or they're living on autopilot. Like, it's a it's a rhetorical and a and a question to you. You know, mm. like, if you want to answer it, it's up to you. But if you don't know, it don't matter. No, no, bro. I'll, I'll give an answer. I'll give an answer. Because I think that's a good comment you make. I think like when have you heard the quote energy cannot be created or destroyed only mm -hmm. transformed or transferred right mm -hmm. so basically someone is the hurt within themselves and i think they try to project it onto someone else in order to remove it from themselves the issue with that is they think it's going to work but it doesn't right it's the hurt stays within someone and then not only that but they might make someone else hurt but it doesn't transfer it just spreads like a disease yeah right and so the actual way to get rid of the hurt is saying like you know bro if someone's like wronged me in the past or if someone's wronged you in the past you know like why hold on to that resentment right it doesn't do anything like nobody nobody wins from that because anger you know uncontrolled anger like there's really like you know like it just burns down everything in its path you know i mean controlled anger is a different story but when someone's just pissed for the sake of being pissed i mean you know like it, it, maybe they maybe they have been wrong like for sure you know maybe they deserve better but i mean they're not being doing a service to themselves 
by you know continuing to stay that way and spreading that to other people uh i like to uh, go off this with a story so it was a a, a woman i was dealing with back then she was very to- oh, i didn't know she was toxic until like two months in right so the way she was just like opening up her energy bro it was like very evil <laughs> very like like what is like what is actually wrong with you like you're you need help type wrong with you right so the way she masked it it was so crazy like and she was doing terrible things like terrible things i'm not gonna speak it here but she was doing terrible things and i could have took all that energy and just like yeah she did that to me and i'm gonna do it to everybody else because no like why would i do that why would i let somebody shape my identity so much that i want to spread it to somebody else no i want to get this right rightful righteous energy to somebody that actually needs it or somebody that actually deserves it that we can actually multiply and grow together why was let somebody change my perspective so much of a woman why would i let that change me into somebody i know who i am i know i'm a genuine person i know i'm a kind person a loyal person why would i let that change me you know and that's why i get like do that do that not living people like people let shit change them so deeply i don't get it Mm. interesting would you say this person like i know you said you weren't going to talk about it but if you could say in like a vague way when they were opening up were they just talking about past issues or how they felt about you or what did that really look like the past issue she wanted me to fix the past issues but i couldn't do shit about it because i wasn't there or i couldn't do anything you're not marty mcfly bro yeah, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the doctor. I'm not Doctor Who. Like, you want me to go back and change that? I can't. Like, what you, <laughs> what you want, what you want me to do? And you just sitting there, just being evil to me, it's not going to change anything. You need to go somewhere else. Leave, because <laughs> mm. I'm not, I'm not the problem. You are. You know what I'm saying? I know me as a person. Sometimes I can be closed off and just think. All right, that shouldn't be an issue for you just to go haywire. <laughs> you know mm. what I'm saying? So. Please fix that. I'm not like, come on, bro. I'm not trying to be cocky or nothing. I'm a humble guy. Like, I'm quiet. I don't like to talk all the time unless it's need to be spread knowledge or like, you know what I'm saying? This, what's wrong with you? Like, I'll literally look at her like, like, what is actually wrong with you? Mm. I you mean, know? it's like we were saying earlier, man. Like, if someone's like hurt, like, and it doesn't even need to be in the form of insulting you, but they just try to put that burden on you. To take it off themselves, but it doesn't. It just multiplies, like you were saying. Yeah, like, yeah, like, and that comes with like righteous energy that you have. Like, you can gain righteous energy. You just gotta, you got to go through shit <laughs> to gain righteous energy. And you letting that compromise your soul, your energy. Why can't you just so have some type of real outlet? Mm. You know what I'm saying? The outlet for me was the gym. You know what I'm saying? Because I used to be an angry person. Like, my dad used to be like, you mad for nothing. Like, and I realized, like, damn, I usually used to be mad for nothing. What am I mad for? You know what I'm saying? Nothing. Nothing, (laughs) right? So, it was a way just to transfer all that. Like you said, it could be transferred. It transferred to that barbell. (laughs) It's gone. Like, I mean, it ain't gone, but it's controlled, right? Mm. You feel me? I ain't gonna let none of that, none of my past jeopardize a person that I'm with now. There's no point. It's no point to do that. It's, it's, it's my job to deal with it myself. And if you want to help me, that's cool. You feel me? I have trouble with doing this, that, and that, and that. I'm glad you feel me did that for me, you know? And yeah. Hmm. I don't know how to do it to explain it. Would you say, like, back in the day, did you feel angry at yourself or angry at others or just angry at everything would you say like how would you describe that angry at myself angry at others angry at everything it was literally like everything like motherfuckers in school like why you act like this bro like what is wrong with you and they're like looking at like you really pissed me off (laughs) and what else angry at others like in family wise like I couldn't do shit about it. So that's another way, like a transfer that rage. Like now I'm stronger. Please try to hurt my family. I dare you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So 
it was literally like a, it was a little bit of everything, you know. Mm. Interesting, man. Yeah, that's the thing. And like I know back in the day, bro, you played video games. You know, like oh yeah, you... that that was. Oh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but that was terrible. Ah, I still, <laughs> still to this day, I was on 2K. I was do, I was doing this, no cap. I was like, bro, what the hell is this? I learned, I noticed myself like, bro, I have to stay off the game sometime. Like, and that was mm -hmm. my first game, like first time playing a competitive game in a minute. So usually I just play story mode games because I find more joy in that than multiplayer games. Because <laughs> they're like, how did you do that? Like, what do you mean <laughs> that worked? How did you get that in that basket? Like, come on. Yeah. So it's like still there, but I think that's something totally different. I don't know why. That's something I got to deal with another time. Cause I don't know why. I mean, I was competitive. That might be it. I'm competitive in everything, like hooping, like in real life, football, betting, even though I'm betting against myself. Why did I lose that? Why did you not score? I'm about to go find you. <laughs> what? You feel me? So, I don't know. It's different. I don't know. It's like a competitive side, I guess. I don't like losing. Mm. And then the funny thing is, bro, you say – this game is so bad, bro. This game is so bad. Yeah. These guys are so bad, but then you just keep playing the game. Like, it's it's crazy. You know? It's like a, a dopamine here. Like, okay, I, I made that shot. I can do it again. Misses it. Like, <laughs> 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 so it's crazy. It's weird, bro. I don't, I don't know. Dang, man. I mean, I that, that's the thing with multiplayer games, bro. Like, that's different than single player games is that it's the component of, or it's the perceptual, I guess you could say. Perceptual. It's it's the component, the perception based component of people being better than you, right? Or people being worse than you, and that's really dangerous for people because especially, um, like people who are goal driven, you know, particularly, like I I mean I find like guys, you know, if they get on the game and they're like crushing everybody, you know, they're gonna feel like through the roof, bro. They're gonna feel like cracked. They're gonna feel on top of the world. But then if they lose. They're going to feel so down bad when it's not even real, right? right? It's just engineered to make someone feel as if they're in a competition when in reality, there is no risk. I know. There's nothing to gain, nothing to lose. Just a uh, point score, bro. Unless you people like, that's why this will come with monetization. Unless you got money on the line betting, that's the only time where you know, like I can get something out of this. You good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the only time you should know like thank you i can get money out of this but that has come to the price of me being good at a game that's the only time bro like that's why i'm saying the monetization part of gaming that side you know that should be taken more seriously mm. but always focus on your health though people like let the game and like oh I, i'm i got money from the game i don't got nothing done the whole time you fat with a gut you know so i got a question for you Ooh, okay. You know how you see, like, how you know, you know how you watch Hansa, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And like other red people or awakened people, or you know, what I'm saying higher up people, as in intellectual and like status, right? They have the term like, you have to keep working extremely hard because I'm better than you. Mm. What do you feel about that, like? I know somebody working harder than me. What, what, like, what is this? Well, I mean, I think I know what you're saying, but just to clarify, do you mean like, like Hamza saying, oh, I'm, I'm doing more than you. You got to work harder. Or he's saying there's always going to be someone working harder than you. You got to work harder than them. As in the sense of, okay, those two, those two right there, what you said. And, uh, you are in competition with other men. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to just, like, sit there and just not do anything, and he's out here doing, like, three things more than you, and you like, oh, shit, he's better than me, so I have to do something more better. And I keep you in the loop as in, I got to be better, I got to be better, I got to be better. And you just, just mentally tiring yourself out and not want to do anything at all. <laughs> mm. I, I had talked to this about my – girl the other day she was like what you, you like what you um thinking about i'm like just being better somebody working harder than me he was like she was like um just relax because like you're comparing like is that some is that comparing to somebody well well it is but i don't think comparing is necessarily negative 
like competitions are a very good motivator but when it gets to a point where someone's focusing more on like surpassing others right than achieving their goal surpassing others becomes the goal and i think that is where it kind of gets problematic because then someone like loses sight of what they're trying to do you know it, it just to you know in in the rain be better than others but i think it's also a double-edged sword because the good side of competition is that it can really like push people to improve like oh you know this person's like going crazy on youtube but my friends are going crazy i gotta upload again too you know and that's like that's amazing but when it gets to the point where when it gets to the point where there's like resentment right i, I don't think that's necessarily good even if someone can succeed based on that resentment you know i mean someone just is like like at war with themselves but i don't know like someone's someone can say like they use their anger to succeed but if it's like i i feel like it would just like burn quickly you know and another reason why i asked that because it was like these tiktoks are were so dangerous even though they can be super positive it'd be like them edgy ass tiktoks i'll be seeing they'd be like you 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 sat there today and he's working better than you. I'm like, damn. I'm <laughs> like, I look at that. I'm like, why am I not doing nothing? Like, it, it gets you up. Like, no, get me wrong. It's like solely motivated. I'm like, okay, what what can I do right now? And as you just just all over the place. I'm be like, damn. I'm like tripping. Like, I'm really doing good right now. What I'm doing. So just relax mm. and just work on what you can work on. But when I see stuff like that, like, I'm like, damn. I make sure my algorithm on TikTok is like purely motivation or like purely stuff that can make me smarter and better. But like when I see stuff like that, I'm like, oh shit! Like I really just be like, damn. Like I know how dangerous that is. Like I, sometimes I gotta stay away from the motivation side. Like sometimes I gotta go a whole day without watching TikTok. Like mm. it's crazy, bro. So what do you like? What do you think about the motivation side of TikTok? Like can that like hinder you or make you like go insane? <laughs> well, that's a good question, bro. I'd say as far as TikTok goes, I don't actually have it, but I mean YouTube Shorts is comparable, right? And I, I don't see it, but as far as, because I, you know, bro, we both like been around the block with like the self-improvement stuff, right? Like looking mm -hmm. at the YouTubers, like saying, like, you're always in a competition with other men. Like you need to be better than other men. I mean, like it, it it's cool and all, but I, I, I think, you know, the, the people who watch this, right. They're like lost and they're looking for guidance, you know, mm -hmm. like primarily guys, I imagine, because that's would be the, that would be the target audience. And so it's like, again, they, they frame it in such a way that it's like the goal is to surpass others, but that's not the goal. You surpass others as a byproduct of pursuing your goal, but surpassing others isn't the goal itself. It's just oh, a byproduct. Okay. And that's so, what I think. It should never be the goal. So, okay. I'm uploading YouTube videos, right? Boom, 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 boom. And, oh shit. I got more subs than Blase Split. I'm doing better. Like, I've surpassed them. But, like, it was in a sense of focus on yourself. Right? Mm. Like, focusing on, like, you being 1% better every day. So, this this, this leads to the question now. Why the fuck, excuse my language, why the fuck do Hamza saying that 1% better every day is bad? Like, at the end of the day, it's going to be that. <laughs> because if you going against yourself every day, doing the right thing, going discipline with your goals and discipline with your aspirations. If you just keep doing discipline with that, you're getting 1% better by yourself and you're going against yourself every day. And when you keep going against yourself every day, going crazy every day, you're going to end up surpassing others. Like you said, that makes so much more sense. Mm, I'm glad it makes sense, bro. I mean, I'd say, you know, judging Hamza's character, I'm not exactly sure why he wouldn't like that idea. Because I think he included thumbnail saying one percent better every day or something, so that's a contradiction. But from what I know of his character, from what I've seen in his videos, I'd say, like, if someone feels like they're getting one percent better every day, but they're actually not, you know, they might be fooling themselves. Like, and it's very hard to quantify. Um, I mean, that's actually what I would say. But it's like, it's it's such like a nuanced thing, you know, that if someone let's say um i don't know washes their face in the morning oh one percent better every day if someone cuts their toenails but it's like they're not actually maybe taking action towards their goal it's just an ego trip maybe mm. that is what he means but if you can actually truly 
get 1% better every day, you know, like uploading YouTube videos, learning something new, you know, you know, you finish reading a book, you help out a bunch of people that could lead you to actually become 1% better every day. But I think where Hamza kind of picks with it, if I were to guess, is in the sense that someone can think they're getting 1% better every day by doing insignificant things when in reality, they're not getting any closer to their goal. Oh, okay. You a smart young man, man. Uh, you just, you, you just, you, this what 18 you going did. strong. You just did like, okay, let me move this way. This, this is what you did. You had a brain right here. You'd be like, uh, 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 oh, he, uh, uh, that's what you just did right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, was that was nice. That was a nice, uh, country. that was a nice, uh, Explanation. I said contradiction. What? <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Professional chefs here. You know, man, we're cooking. Okay, man. I'm just, I'm just tossing up the meal. Like, oh yeah, snap. Good. Ah, good. <laughs> you feel me? So, yeah. Okay. I, I like that. All right. Cool. Yeah, it's it's crazy, bro. I think, um, yeah, and no, I I think you're quite smart too, in the sense that like you're um, you're quite intuitive and that's what we were talking about with explanations. Like when you give explanations about people such as like that, um, that girl you were talking to, you know, that had a toxic aura, you could say, or toxic energy. It's like, you are able to sense that and articulate that instantly. But although if other guys can sense that, even if other guys sense that they might not pay attention to it because they're like, dang, she's on, you know? So, you know, and back to that, I had to go back to that. I hate, I don't, I don't hate thinking about her, but I forgave her for everything, like not physically, but like spiritually. Like, I was like, I don't care no more. So back then, the retention, I was using that to my advantage. No cap. I was like, I'm getting girls with this. Let me just keep going. That was so unhealthy, and I, I, I hated myself for it. <laughs> and I didn't realize it. Like I didn't realize the power I had to like later. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, like. Even though she was energy draining, I was still had the willpower to sense, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? So, oh, okay. It's like the aura was so potent that even though she was, like, bzzz, like taking away your energy, you could still sense it. It was so, like, potent. So Yeah, like, so, like, it was it was hard for me not to be, like, just get out of Like, you have to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> get out of here. I don't, I don't know. Right? And me having experiences with women... It made me realize, like, flings, bro, like, one night stands, two night stands, all, like, it's not worth it, bro. <laughs> it's not worth it. Because at the end of the day, you want somebody, a woman, a connection with a, a genuine woman that knows what she got up here and know the value of this, right, what's down there. And if you as a man know what to do with your sexual energy, putting it towards, like, your goals and everything, like everything you want to do, they will sense that and they know like this is a man that can be somebody real powerful, right? Mm. And if you if she realized that, y'all can make a power team because she's supportive and you're just making things happen, right? And with that, you can't lose, right? You can't lose with that because at the end of the day, bro, women and men, they're meant to multiply. I were meant to multiply. And when they sense a strong masculine man, I'm not saying I'm like the ultimate masculine man. Like I have a sense of masculinity. If you have a sense of masculinity, they will know like he knows what he's talking about. He's smart. He has. He's on this. He's on the right path. The right path. And you can't let nothing outside of that path distract your your lane right here. That's why you hear like stuff is cold. Stay in your lane. That's real. Like people don't. People take that like. Ah, it's to stay in your lane. I do my own. like. No, you literally have to stay in your lane and lock in. And that one queen, I made this analogy in my last video, can move across the board, right? She can move across the board, right? She a stone past your your e four or e seven or wherever that go. She's like, oh, oh shit, let me check that. You know what I'm saying? Let me check that. This, you know what he doing? You right? You know what I'm saying? It's all about how you just and their self control, discipline. You know what I'm saying? Like. It'd be so many women I realized that was so damn dumb. I'm sorry. I'm like, I tell like, I say, like, we get done doing what we're doing, right? Like, I hate thinking about this shit. Doing, doing what we're doing, right? And I like kind of like talk to them and try to help them, like, what they was going through, because that's the type of person I am. And I, and I, and I hear, I hear, they tell, I hear them talk. I'm like, you just like being like this, bro. You like being depressed 
anxious, all that shit. You don't want to fix any of it, right? Mm. And it's not my job to fix. My job is to lead you, right? And I'm telling you the right things to you to, like, okay, he know what he's talking about, right? But they want to do the same thing. Like, why wanna, Why you want to be like that? Mm. Interesting. I mean, I think, wow, bro, th- there's so many directions we could take this. I'd say... I don't know. Stay in your lane. That's something interesting. If I'm understanding that correctly, you know, I actually heard David Goggins say something similar to that. In life, there is a highway, you know, and in the highway, there might be signs telling where you indicating where you should go. Signs saying where each exit is, where to each, you know, destination, you could say. And then there's another lane, you know, with like a shovel and trees. And if someone does not stay in their lane you know with the shovel and trees especially if they're someone ambitious then i don't think they could carve anything out they certainly couldn't carve a road you know if they don't go down that path you know if they don't stay on that path and if they get distracted then it's like that that's literally where it comes from i think the word like if you think about it distract you know you get off track distract Mm. right you know this meaning um like not Right. So, yeah, man, how would you go about like choosing someone? uh, How would you go about choosing purpose over pleasure? You know, because both give a feeling of satisfaction. But how could someone stay in their lane if both provide a feeling of satisfaction? How would you describe that? So say that one more time. Let me try to uh, say this right or say it close enough. Say that question again. Sure. How? should someone go about pursuing purpose over pleasure if both things provide some feeling of satisfaction? Mm. So, at the end of the day, you will know the outcome on both scenarios, right? Okay, say if I'm just going to pleasure, 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 you keep going with this pleasure, right? Say you keep going with the pleasure. You realize, like, this shit is leading me nowhere, right? It can lead me with an STD, it can me with a kid or it can leave me my life down the drain. Why would I want to do that? Okay. So boom. Okay. What if I take this route? If I just keep doing what I'm doing, focusing on my lane, the right lane, right? Whatever you're doing, whatever goals, whatever dreams you got. If I just do that, damn, I can help my mama. Dang. I can buy a new a house for my family. Dang. I can actually have a kid and not have a kid that I didn't want to have. Dang, mm. I can actually build something. Wow, that's fulfilling. It might take a while, but yeah, I want to take this route. That's how you really, that's how you navigate through that. Like, what if I go down this path? That's going to be stupid. If I go down this path, that would be great. That's like, it, yeah, that's how I go about that. Mm. Interesting, bro. You know what? And what you were saying, like down the road, I thought of an analogy for it. So let's say someone has a bag of like a candy they really like. Let's say someone really likes Sour Patch Kids. They get a bag of Sour Patch Kids or alternatively, they get one seed. Now to get this one seed, you know, that can plant uh, a fruit tree. Let's say it's an orange tree, right? To get this one seed, it's exponentially harder. Like someone needs to go to a market across the country just to get the seed. But this seed, if you plant it and nurture it, can produce a giant orange tree, a giant orange tree with big, juicy, vitamin-filled oranges, right? Or you could get the Sour Patch Kids that are just at your local 7-Eleven. You know, it's someone's choice. And both are the same price, you know, and just for a little seed, you know, you... Let's actually say you pay more for the seed. You pay more for the seed than you would for the Sour Patch Kids. The person, the wise individual would go and get the seed, not because of what they're going to get now, but for the potential of what they can get later. And through nurturing the seed, they can get a fruit tree. And when they have that fruit tree, it's not just going to grow little Sour Patch Kids that are going to just give you pleasure. It's going to help you in some way, you know. And even if you don't see it now, if you keep nurturing it, that is not only going to help you, but those oranges you could feed to your family, your community, anyone. Whereas with the Sour Patch Kids, you're just taking in yourself, you know, it's it's not selfless. By definition, it's selfish, right, for oneself. And nothing comes of that. But if you take the harder route and you plant the seed, then you can get the bigger orange tree. 
I like that. And then, you know what's crazy? That whole analogy plays out in anything, right? Say if you just going through different girls, right? Just going through them. You like, okay, it's easy, but what if I just like not do that? Like, what if I just don't do that? What if I told it take this route and just focus in and like attract the person that's really like like me? You know what I'm saying? Like really like in like really just intuitive what we really link up like that, right? If I check that type of woman by just doing the disciplined things, like just staying to myself, focus on a higher, focus on being better within. And when you be better within, that's when you tend to attract, right? And that's the same way of just like not going to the easy route, just up. Oh yeah, she she easy lick, boom, let me just hit that one, right? No, you staying in with yourself, then you attracting that like-minded lady that's literally just like you, right? It's like the same, it's like that whole analogy you said with the seed and same thing, <laughs> literally the same thing. Is it not like, if you, let me know if it's something different. No, bro, I, I do get what you're saying. I think it actually is quite similar in the sense that like, let's say, yeah, like an easy, like that's a crazy term, bro. <laughs> it's like if someone just like goes goes with someone else. I mean, it's no different than like watching watching the hub, right? I mean, both people are kind of in it for themselves. They don't really care about the other person, you know. They're just trying to, um, I don't really know a slang term, but like get that instant gratification, you know, from the the intercourse. So that is selfish. That's like the sour patch kids, right? In the analogy, but basically down the line, if you nurture a relationship with this person, I mean, even if someone doesn't have kids, you know, it's like that person can become both people, both parties can become better individuals. Someone can help others around them because they're helped by their partner, right? Maybe their partner teaches them a lesson. Then they teach the lesson to other people, right? Like the orange tree growing. Maybe that girl tells a guy, you know, like, hey, man, you need to focus. You know, you need to focus on your goal more. You need to like actually just go for it, whether you doubt yourself or not. He goes crazy with the goal. He helps people with his goal. You know, that's like the orange tree, man. It keeps multiplying. But negative things multiply also. And that's kind of the trade-off, man. Like the more, you know, someone goes for these one-night stands, I imagine like the more addicted to what they get, right? And the thing is like the less confidence they have in themselves because they know intuitively they're not doing what they should. You know, and that creates uh, like a downward spiral. Yeah. yeah. You know, just like yeah. the orange tree goes up, the downward mm. spiral continues to descend. Mm. This whole podcast full of jewels right now. Like, yeah, bro. Pot look. No, I'm, I'm going to get some good YouTube clips off of this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, for real. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, bro. I can send uh, you the file. <laughs> oh, yeah, please do. Please do. Yeah. I have, it had me something to work on, bro. Like, Sometimes I have nothing like life. I say I just got done filming a video. I've been working on it for like six or seven days and I'm done with it. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I got to think another idea. I start panicking in low cap. So mm. this give me something to like cook up with. So I appreciate if you can send me this. You know what I'm of course, bro. I, I can try. I can try to send it through Google, but you know what? I think that is a good place to end on. Everyone watching at home, please subscribe to Mr. Gabriel Wayne. You know, yes, he is the self-improvement youtuber the phenom you know cracked in the gym benches 225 for reps you know and he'll put you on game with the knowledge man because this is the self-improvement community and this is what the title of the podcast is about man jiko kaizen and okay. improve self-improvement yes, you know sir. in japanese man this is the community it's not about me it's not about him you know it's not about you know you or me as individuals it's about you know the the community it's about evolving together man so take it easy and keep going hard yes sir